Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specials from Subaru Prince Storage here. Just giving you guys a quick look at our first two 2022 Subaru WRXs. Now these are both the Sport Tech, so the full load with the stick, but they've changed quite a bit of stuff on these cars. And in person, it looks a lot different than the photos. That's what I think. I mean, they've done, I mean, they even put the little splitters. Don't know if you, the camera will focus on it. They put the little dividers in the hood scoop. LED steering responsive headlights, some new wheels, which I actually quite like. Those fenders, despite being the black painted plastic, I, I actually quite like them with the orange. They are functional vents, so good for airflow. Overall shape of the car, very, very similar to what the previous gen was. Obviously some changes. Powered by the 2.4 liter turbocharged engine. Rear end looks a little different. This does stick out a bit further than I was thinking it would from the photos in person. It's not terrible. Again, I don't know if you can see it or if the camera can pick it up, but it is actually a functional vent. You can see paint and paint through there and that, that's a functional vent. So I actually quite like that. Now, you do have keyless access to the trunk or you can use the button there, but good size trunk, still fit a ton of stuff in there luggage, sports gear, what you need. Sport techs all come with the little lip spoiler. Now, something that I found really, uh, I guess it would help if I actually unlocked it, something that I found really, really cool about the new WRX is that uh, they actually added heated seats to the second row, which to me is just so different. But yeah, the outer two seats have high and low heated seat settings. And you get two USB ports for charging. But about as much room as you'd expect. We've got the red contrast stitching and it's this, it's a soft touch leather cloth kind of hybrid, but suits the car. Very similar interior to the previous gen. Seat design and color wise. Power driver seat, including lumbar support. That same material, WRX on the headrests. On the inside, steering wheel, slightly different shape. Carbon fiber trim, more red stitching. Oh, they actually changed the vents on these. So these came in the other day, but this is really the first close look that I've had at it. Blind spot detection in your side mirrors. And our Bluetooth and audio controls on the left-hand side, cruises on the right. It is the six-speed manual transmission, so there's no eyesight, so there's no adaptive cruise. Cycle through the different screens. I have boost gauges in there now because they have taken away the little screen that was at the top that sat on the dash and replaced it with a super large touchscreen. So through the top, kind of broken into three parts, just like the Outback. Got weather, gauges, and you'll be able to change those widgets around. A blank one, that should be for navigation if you put a navigation destination in and then change the screen and then what you're listening to. So, navigation, really easy to use under settings, car info, all the stuff that you would expect to find and then as soon as you put it in reverse backup camera pops up does show you the top of the bumper so you have something to relate to and then the bottom portion are climate controls it is dual zone just like the outback you still have physical buttons easy to sync your temperatures but i think 30 is the highest and 15 is the lowest yeah so from freezing to tropical depending how you and your bashers like it and then heated seats are also controlled through here. I actually, I quite like the surround on this screen. I think it's a little bit more refined than the one in the Outback. I like the shape a little bit more. They've changed it down here. We still have our two USBs or auxiliary, little storage cubby and 12 volt, but easier access. And these are leather trimmed on either side. As I was saying, six speed manual transmission, harder and harder to find, especially in a manual transmission vehicle. We have our cup holders, or change holder, and then 
an armrest with storage and there's a 12 volt outlet in there. And then up top, auto dimming mirror, which I love. There's no switch to flick. They just automatically dim if someone's behind you with their high beams on. Up top, we have our connected services SOS and our roadside sunroof controls and it's just the regular size tilt and slide sunroof. So that's a brief overview of the new 2022 Subaru WRX Sport Tech. I'm Tyson, the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George. Talk to you guys soon.